The present leadership in Washington stands convicted, not because it did not have the means to plan, but fundamentally because it did not have the will to do. The 1932 campaign was one of the most momentous in American history. With Republican President Herbert Hoover presiding over a nation in economic collapse, it was clear that a Democrat would win the presidency in 1932. New York Governor Franklin Delano Roosevelt, the popular leader of the country's most populous state, emerged as the Democratic frontrunner. At the Democratic Convention in Chicago, Roosevelt won on the fourth ballot. In those days, presidential nominees did not appear at party conventions. FDR defied that tradition, flew to Chicago to accept his nomination, and electrified the delegates with his call for a new deal. Roosevelt traveled to 41 states, making major addresses and hundreds of whistle-stop appearances. His energy, charm, and commitment to action carried him to a decisive victory. Democrats seized control of Congress for the first time in 16 years and dominated the new Senate by an overwhelming margin of 60 to 35. They enjoyed a 310 to 117 majority in the House. Voters handed Franklin Roosevelt and the Democrats a blank check. Their only demand was action. I pledge myself to a new deal for the American people.